Hello everybody, we're here at the New Tech booth at IBC 2019. I'm Matt Allard and we're going to talk a little bit about uh, VizRT Group and NDI today. So VizRT Group is sort of the blanket umbrella name for the combination of VizRT, New Tech, and NDI. So what we've done is we've actually created three distinct brands because NDI has actually really grown beyond just where New Tech started with it. So VizRT, of course, will be using it and is using it, as well as New Tech, but we have a whole big ecosystem and community of third-party developers. Now, third-party developers are not only the people that are doing software applications with NDI or hardware devices with NDI, but a whole bunch of end users who are able to use the NDI SDK and develop their own NDI environments for digital media. So a big thing that we're doing here at the show is we've, we've launched its own NDI webpage, which is ndi.tv, uh, where you're able to download the latest SDK, which is all the new versions. Uh, NDI 4 has a whole bunch of new features, but the probably most exciting one to most people is going to be about NDI recording. So NDI inherently is aspect ratio res uh, independent, independent of resolution, independent of frame rate. And we take that and now we can take an NDI stream, but we can actually capture that and wrap it as a file. So that means I can reuse it, whether I'm reusing it to stream, reusing it for replay, reusing it for archival purposes, whatever you want to do. So you now have a capability beyond just live production to utilize NDI. Another thing that we wrote in conjunction with that is something called NDI import for Adobe Creative Cloud. So now I can take an application like Adobe Premiere, it will know what an NDI file is, and I'm able to take that directly into the timeline and edit it, not only a single file, but synchronized multiple files. We have a way to do that because we timestamp with computer time every frame of NDI video. So really there's a lot of excitement around NDI in terms of the developer community, the end user community, and now with the launching of really its own brand, its own website, uh, once again, ndi.tv, so you won't necessarily just have to go to new tech the way you used to to get NDI information. Now of course, newtech.com still exists for all the various new tech products as well.